Uh, you, you guys are back? Crystal, Maroon! You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, something like that, yeah. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. These two... They sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. Ah, oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. for the time being. Of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervalet know that he would- Miss Sure Nervalet has strong resonance with the Hydro Element. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the and If you're not too pressed, just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish. I'd like to take the opportunity to- Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. Uh, that's no excuse for Huh? What's you two? Yuri, Lurveen, we're back! Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? And you! Are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though, so don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh <laughs> yeah? Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? Not at all!
now guess, what suit will this next card be? Uh, a bare teeth cat? Well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon! <sighs> Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremine. Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clorand in person. Whoa, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah... Okay, but check this out! We went back to the Opera House, and we met the Knave! You met Father? Did she say anything to you? She said a few things that were... Uh... A bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic! You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable, and also trustworthy. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh, got it. Huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Hey! Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it, yeah! Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Pyro wants another serving of cake! Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Well... Next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still alright? We're fine, for the most part. Nivellet came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervalette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! 
Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Sure feels that way. But the truth is, we never did anything bad to begin with. Huh? How did you know? Hey, that's not true! <sighs> All right. Okay, it's like... We've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've seen there are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but... We've still been solving problems no matter where we... You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Then let's ask Catherine to give Paimon an adventurer handbook as well! Ah, just got thoughts making Paimon giddy! Ah, oh, the last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside ourselves. We should be safe now, right? Alright then, good night to you, Traveler!
for a little rest. Wait a sec. Isn't something important supposed to happen today? Oh, today's our big day! We're supposed to leave the fortress of... Please, sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Merit. It's been so long since we've been to the surface! Let's hurry up and... Ah! Uh, what's happening? <sighs> I'm fine. Let's go ask the Duke! Ah, good to see you two. Is there something- Yeah! What was with that earthquake just now? Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs under water. So, the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a- Huh, you've got a point. Uh, by the way- Hmm, I believe today- Wait, seriously? Ah, yes. Yep. Uh, it's you two. Uh, are you... That's right. Today is our last day in prison. But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like... Oh, yeah. Paimon feels... Well, then be sure to come back and visit. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. You're not going to see us off? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right. Well... You actually agreed! Uh, no worries! You ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking companionship. Yeah! Don't worry, we'll come back to see you. Uh, I'm a real- I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to- Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Meridian is finished! That's the end of another- We should probably go report to him now. You're going to see Monsieur Nervilette? <laughs> I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Hmm, I believe it- You're right. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Uh, tell- You two. <laughs> Apology. Excuse me. Uh, would you mind helping? I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here. Everyone's so busy. Seems a lot is. Nevelette! Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for. In the meantime, please have a seat. Very well, then. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish. <laughs> All right. Are you done with your work? Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. That's right, and we came here to see... Hmm... Um... Do you have any idea? 
Judging from your description, that cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters. But a whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tevat. Therefore, we can only assume... Immersed in primordial seawater? What the hell? And is he okay? Most people wouldn't be capable of entering in the first place. I'm not completely sure how he could have gotten there myself. Yes? What is it? wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. The source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water level... The water levels rose? Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time, and have already returned to normal. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in... Navia should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her! I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. We must immediately formulate- I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once- There's no time to lose! Let's get going! Please be careful. your balance <laughs> all right <sighs> I'm not young anymore <laughs> oh, he looks pretty sad <laughs> my leg how could this have happened <laughs> it hurts <laughs> Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold. You're here. We heard there was a situation in Poisson. Yes. As you can see. Demoiselle! There was a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported him to- He's wounded? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose- He jumped down then. Find the leader of Squad One, and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. He should know where to go. Understood. I'll take over his- Alright. You'll be in charge. I'm sorry. Where were we? I... Uh, this situation in Poisson? Ah, uh, right. Allow me to explain. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded on an aquabus. But before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water 
didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede, and some... some people fell from significant heights. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been... a lot of casualties. Fortunately... The water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater, so the lower levels of Poisson are still hazardous. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. No one knows if this could happen again. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. We still haven't completed the headcount, but... We'll have some numbers soon. How awful. And all of this just came out of nowhere. It was quite frightening indeed. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment. Don't say that, Navia. Demoiselle, we've got a situation here. Uh, I'll be right there. Sorry, I need to go for now. And as she goes, seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Okay, the wounded are being tended to, and we fin- Of course, we should remain ready for anything, and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Traveler, Paimon, would you two- Huh? Right now? Thank you. People here, huh? Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Um, Navia? Sorry, I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here. What should I do, Pop? Huh? What happened to them? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> well, what should we- I've known them for so long. And I, I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just... gone. I just can't... Huh? 
Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus' grave. I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See, it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be angry, would he? Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or later, no matter who you are. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking around. I'm quite serious. That way, it will save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions. Personally? <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously? But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make... I'd promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually cry, really. Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better. But... Well... She and I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. Malus and Silver have helped me so- I'm so sorry. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. <sighs> Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obana... Khan... So... Everyone else is safe, but still... It's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. And you're right. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. Right! Don't think that way, Navia. One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes! You're right. Like what you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh! Uh... Really? Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Uh... Then... Ah. Uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated, and we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. Thank you. But wait! We just met recently. Hmm. Usually, I would call this a coincidental encounter. But that doesn't... Thanks to the knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the... Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extreme- My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite su- This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day... You'll also be able to help me- Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. 
I won't forget your kindness. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. Don't say that. You and your subordinates, as Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some, You're right. I'm sorry for your love. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately... So, you're what? Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some things to take care of. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Alright, then we'll just... Uh... That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today, Traveler. I'm sure you remember that I said we could work- You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede's Sluice Gate, and this time it was the Water Levels in Poisson. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's Intelligence Network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situ- My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. So that- I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the- which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family, but Linny, Lynette, and Fremine said that they also see you. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship. Oh! That's so The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Got it! So all we gotta do is go to some room- Excuse me, but may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring some room- Well, I'm sad, yes, but I can't just go back. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. Besides, I'm also doing this. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What are you- Alright, the ruins are to the south of Point. Okay, the three of us will- <laughs>